Welcome everybody to what I think will be a very exciting series. This is a joint effort between myself and sitting here. We start off the map with three million bucks. We don't own a thing. And yeah, I sold off all the equipment and edited the file to give us the money. It's basically like us going to the bank and uh, with a business plan and say, hey, we need three, three million bucks. We're gonna start a farm and yeah, so basically how this is going to work is I'm going to buy some equipment and then sitting here is going to buy some equipment and we'll quickly spend our $3 million as we decide that we need things. So I think the first thing that I will do is buy a tractor and we'll drive around and buy a few fields and we'll talk about the game plan after that. So let's go to the store. I think that I want to buy a smaller tractor. Well, something you should know first is we are using the seasons mod and we have nine day seasons, but we're going to be running at the default speed of 5x. This is what the seasons guy rec seasons guys recommend it. You know, the longer days make you actually feed your animals and stock up stores for the winter. But with 5x speed, it really gives you like a passage of time. So it doesn't actually take too long to burn through those days. And it's actually on my other series so far, what I have experienced, I've been rushed for time. So this will actually be really great having someone else to split the work. Um, most of the time we will be using, uh, you know, recording separately, but we will add everything to a joint playlist. So you guys will have the benefit of seeing all of our, all of our videos there in order. I think that I want to go with this tractor. Uh, yeah, Chrome. No, let's go with black. We'll save a little money there. Should I have 7,000 bucks for a front? Um, I think this is good. We'll, we'll buy this for now and, Rim color. Yeah, let's, let's stay with the red. So by this for now, we are also playing with the more realistic mod, which is technically still in beta, but Dural has done a lot of work making it really, really well done. And it is basically, yeah, okay, it's in beta, but not really beta. It's, it's really well done. The, so it does kind of limit some of the equipment we can use where they have to be edited for the more realistic mod if they are not a default vehicle in the basic game but that's not really too big of an issue the uh i i have some experience editing so i do that myself and we are playing with a few other mods sitting here actually introduced me to these limkin packs so i just edited them and put them on our server so those will be a lot of fun to use i have never used them before so you know, I just tested them a little bit when editing, but they look like they're going to be a lot of fun. So we'll probably come back here and buy one of those before the end of this episode. But right now, let's get started. Uh, I've talked enough already. Um, where do we want to go to buy fields? So as far as I can tell, this farm has three, or this map has three farms. It's got pigs and sheep and cows. You can kind of see them there. Um, I think starting with pigs is really hard because we don't have any corn or grain in storage. So I think we'll skip pigs for now. How about we take this little, I think this will take us over to the pig farm or the sheep farm. I think that's the symbol for sheep. The cows look like they are all the way on the south side of the map. I do believe that is where we started. And let's, here, switch to... Uh, inside the cab so I don't run into anything and this is the turn in here I believe maybe maybe not no I went totally the wrong way it does also have you see the uh, the mud mod there so that was kind of fun Let's go back. I think it's straight this way then. Yeah, I think I just took a wrong turn. Went the wrong way. All right, here we go. Going to the sheep. And there are some grass fields here that we'll be able to mow and use for the sheep. So I think that'd be a good start. We should probably buy those grass fields actually while we get the sheep up and going. I think the sheep are the easiest. Oh, should we start with cows? 
I don't know. Cows are a lot of work, but they are a little bit more money, I think. Well, they're also more money to buy. Now, let's just go take a look at the sheep farm. And I think... I think we'll start with sheep. So, let's take a look over here. And we have some grain storage. Okay, so, I mean, we could actually make this... Uh, a home base for a little while since it has grain storage look at that with a nice little digital display there let's go to a little bit uh, more perspective so you guys can see that and get a nice nice few sheds here nice little overall nice little uh, nice little farm and where are the actual sheep pens this is the sheep right oh it looks like over there maybe Okay, maybe I just didn't go far enough this way yet. Let's head on over. And that does not look like sheep. Did I not? Did I go on the wrong... Did I go on the wrong farm? Maybe... The, is this where you deliver the wool? Oh, right! Wow, I drove right past it. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh, so... You know what, it would probably help if I turn on, while I'm getting used to this map, uh, where's markers, markers, interactive zone markers, there we go, that would probably help. So this is probably where you dump off the sheep, and these are going to be the water and feed trough triggers, really can kind of escape by hopping over the water there, but, and then the pallets are going to be where, over here maybe? Right, no, not there, that's... That's great. Oh, right there. Okay, so, well, I think let's do this because you know, I didn't even think, I didn't even think about it until just now, but we can actually, okay, so something else. Let's turn on the help icons because I want to see if, are one of these a shop or do we have to buy a shop? Let's just open up all these doors. Oh, that is nice. So these are the type of doors where you only have to click it once and it opens all the way instead of the type of doors where you have to press and hold the mouse button down the whole time. So I do like those. But it looks like we do not own a shop, or at least that I can see. So actually, if this is going to be our home base and we're going to do some sheep, let's finish opening up these just to make sure that there is no repair icon. Oh, you can drive through this one. That's nice. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like this. I like this area. So, we will... If, if I didn't say it before, this is a joint effort. It's not like I'm going to be doing my thing and he's going to be doing my, his thing. I mean, it might end up that way a little bit just because, you know, only each of us are going to truly know what the other person's... what ourselves are doing. Um, you know, it might be might be a little loss of communication sometimes, but typically we'll, we'll help each other out. You know, if... if it's not like if I buy sheep and the sheep are starving, he's not going to feed them. So uh, I think that's a good idea. Let's do that. So uh, we're going to need a... And this is one thing I didn't get a chance to talk to him about. I did not know if we are going to... If we're going to buy a semi and run semis or... I'm looking for the animals and I'm talking and I get distracted. I don't know if we're going to buy animals and... Let's do this one. I did edit this one myself, so we'll buy animals here. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Can I finish a thought? What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I don't know if we were going to run semis or not, or if it was going to be just tractors to start. I think we should probably do a semi only if we have money. We'll... Start off small because I have a feeling fields will take up a good part of our money. So while we are on our way back to the store, let's buy a few of these fields. Even though I'm not really sure how many of them we'll have to buy. Alright. 20,000. That's a nice little small field. We'll buy that one. And we will not hit the tree. Not going to hit the tree. Let's take this turn. And I think let's turn on all-wheel drive because I started to slip a little bit there. All right, 300,000. That is a really great pasture. We'll start there with that one. That's going to be great for mowing. 
and what else are we gonna do? Once we get a decent supply of bales, we could actually branch into cows as well. So that might be something we could think about doing. Uh, let's just buy, maybe buy several fields along here. 70,000. All right, I gotta, <laughs> the money goes quick. Look at this. I've already spent 500,000. The money, you know, you might think 3 million seems like a lot, but it's not. It goes really fast. So is that a pasture there? Is that an actual field? That is field 30. I do feel guilty using grass pastures if I don't own them. Also, if it... Now here's actually something that I just found out with the Seasons mod, actually with the base game, you can fertilize grass if it is on a field texture. This does not look like it's on a field texture, so we actually could work on plowing up these fields and then reseeding them with grass. So that is another reason why I like to buy them because it allows us to do that. And since actually, since grass hasn't taken off and grown yet, maybe we'll look to plow them here in the beginning. Where's that trigger for, yeah, I wanna drive across, I'm not driving across someone else's field. This will eventually be ours, so don't worry. And let's buy this one because I think we can easily plow up that grass strip and join these two fields. I think that's a great thing to do. All right, here we go. So <laughs> that's that's gonna be, it. I think I'm gonna have to call it quits there at buying fields. We have a few more we can expand in the surrounding area, but let's head back to the shop for now. We'll pick up our trailer and figure out where the, oh, you know what? We're gonna have to have some grass to feed the sheep in the beginning, so we should probably also buy a bale trailer and buy a few bales of hay to get the to get them started. Is traffic on? I know this map does have traffic. Let me get off the road and yeah. Okay, it was the trigger. That's typically why I I didn't actually hit anything. That's typically why I like turning off the help icon so you stop running into them. All right, so while we're here, let's buy a bale trailer. And all these bale trailers I did actually edit myself for the MR, and I'm talking and looking, so I'm failing to, okay, baling equipment, okay, there we go. Now, all these, as I was saying, all these trailers I did edit myself. Uh, so do we want the 36 footer or the 32 footer? Let's get the 32 footer because it has the option to take these off or add them. So if we have a round baler in the beginning, like I think we will, we can add the creels. But when later we have square bales, they stack a little bit nicer. We don't need the creels. But I think originally we're not gonna we're not gonna want to we're not gonna want to branch out to square bales. That's just too much money in the beginning. So we will have creels in the beginning. And we will buy some bales while I'm here to give to the sheep. And here we're going to just buy square because they are a little bit easier to stack. And how many do you think? One. Let's just buy two. Make it a little bit easier so we don't have to come back quite as much. And then, of course, we're going to need a front loader. And the money just keeps on going up and up. And let's try to match the color of the tractor and then we're gonna need to go over here to fork with claws i think we want this one this one will give us i think you can grab four bales with this one this one i used to like i used to use this one before but you can only get three bales on there and which is great if you're in the field by yourself but if you're stacking them you know with uh from the buy bale mod they come in stacks of four so we'll do that and we might want a weight on the back of our tractor to support those bales. So let's get something heavy. Maybe this one. Uh, let's no. Let's stick with the Agco brand. We'll get the biggest one, and we will make it also the same green color. And what else did I say we're gonna need? Well, how about <laughs> that's enough money. We are down to two point two million, two and a quarter million dollars. It just. <laughs> Well, you know, it kind of feels like real life. The, the money just keeps going out the window. 
and a real farm, so. We'll pull in here if I can get it straight. Did I buy this with the front attacher option? I think I did. All right, so I do have the manual attaching mod. And there we go. So we will hop over and pick up Actually, while I'm here, where are the livestock? So, all the way at the bottom of the map. Okay, this is going to be fun. We get to explore the map, I guess. And this one you can attach without the manual attached. So, we will... Let's see. We'll swing around again. And... We'll pick up that on our rear. Actually, you know what? Take it back. Let's go move the bale trailer first so that is out of our way. I think that's what we need to do. And you know what? I came at the wrong angle for it because I want to go the other way. I'm just all over the place today. I let's let's see if we can't make this angle. We'll try. Alright, we'll get out here. Let's attach the bale trailer. It's got nice hydraulics there with hydraulic brakes, so that'll help us out a little bit. Let's try to back it up a little bit without hitting the bale stack and we'll make a wide turn. I figure we'll put these at a maybe a 90 degree angle. Something like right there. Alright, that should work. Now let's start stacking. Oh yeah, look at that. Just with the with the weight of that. <laughs> With the weight of that rack on the front, it's almost tilting the tractor forward. You can see it on the suspension. It's not tilting the tractor forward, but you see the front suspension lowering. I don't think this would make us do an endo, but certainly anything bigger could cause problems. All right, I'll put a weight there. Should I keep it low to keep the center of gravity now? Low? No, we'll raise it. Okay, here we go. I hope this is a big enough tractor to be able to do what I want to do. And I do have the side panel, but I think we'll use the mouse when I am lifting up bales, just because I think it's... Now, I mean, for one, it's easier muscle memory. Or it's better muscle memory since I've been doing it. Alright, let's lift it up just slightly. I think we can do... Yeah, looks like we'll do that no problem. And hold on, since I've never used this before... I can, where is the option to, maybe you can't. I thought you could move these claws. Oh, there we go. Is that what I want? I don't know which way is attached though. Okay, so it started out with the men, right? That's what I want, I want them there. I want them attached. And then when I unload, I will move that back out. Okay, here we go. We're figuring it out now. That's a lot of weight up there. Definitely need a weight. I'm not sure if you need a weight if you're not playing with the more realistic mod, but the more realistic mod, definitely, you're going to want to wait for this kind of stuff. <laughs> Look at the bouncing. <laughs> That's a lot of weight up there. All right, we'll lower these. little bit off-centered but I think oh my goodness <laughs> it almost tilted to the side because of the weight yeah let's not do that again that was kind of a dumb thing all right here we go let's finish loading these up this tractor does take a little while to engage the, uh, the different directions there I think that this got to be built into the mod this is one mod I did not convert I have not converted the tractors to more realistic yet. I have only done wagons, trailers, and uh, I've done the uh, the Big Q, Jaskin Big Q liners. I have not done tractors. The Limpkin tools that we're going to use, I they're actually my first cultivator, so... Yeah, let's get up there. Okay, now... <laughs> Let's put those straps on before anything else bad happens. That's ugly. Oh my goodness. Actually, that ratchet would pull it 
Well, maybe not with those holding. Okay, these are just bad news. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go put that back at the farm. And that just looks so ugly. All right, we will probably keep the... Yeah, we'll just keep this... Uh, the bale fork over there at the farm. Well, right. oh, it's too far back that time. There we go. And off we go. So we're going to want to put on... Oops, that's not hazards. That should be... There we go. All right, so I think that it was to the right. Is that correct? Oh, well, it's kind of to the straight, but I think we have to go to the right first to get there. So let's be off. Yeah, so there is traffic on this map. Oh man, I gotta take the turn slow with this thing. <laughs> I wasn't even going that fast, pull it out of there, and I almost, uh... okay, so I think I wanna go left here. Nice and slow. All right, we made it. Now, I think that, should I take these, which way is faster, the dirt path or the road? I, let's just take the road. It might be a little bit more stable. I think there's somewhere we can turn right up here, I hope. This is the fastest this tractor will accelerate up the hill with this load. Probably wouldn't want to go any faster anyway. I'm hoping there's a path to the right at some point. Otherwise, we're going to have to go really far around. I don't think there is. Okay. I guess that path, that little uh, path was really the only way to the farm unless we go way around. So let's turn around here. Try not to drive on someone else's field. I think we're going to have to a little bit, though. Uh, we're going to miss that tree. Yeah, we're going to have to stop. All right. I don't think I cut it the right direction. Should have turned uh, to cut it a little bit more the other way. Okay. And we're back. Oh my goodness, that suspension is crazy. All right, so this is what we want. This is the path to the sheep. So this is, okay, so this is shorter than the way we took getting here. All right. Come on, trailer. There we go. Nice and easy. Easy does it. Oh, we did not open this gate. All right. Oh, good. I was hoping it opened that way instead of back the other way. All right, we'll climb on in here and where are we gonna stack these? Maybe over around the corner here to the right. If I can make that turn, nope. All right, well, I'll go back and we'll make that turn a little bit earlier. There we go. I think we'll just park it underneath the cover for now. We can unstack them later, but I think we'll keep the bales either. Oh, I guess we could keep them there too. But honestly, that would be, which one's gonna be easiest? For now, let's just pull them in there, I guess, but I didn't make the turn for it, so. All right, we'll back up without, get somewhere we can see. Back up, we'll miss that pull and that'll help us make this turn, I think. Just barely cleared underneath the shed there. Oh, that was awful close. I think this one is the same height, so we should make it no problem if I don't hit the support there. All right, there we go. Yep, just barely made it. All right, so we have a bale trailer now with some bales. That is great. 
And with the Seasons mod, it is important to put them underneath shelter, otherwise things will rot, and we certainly do not want that. And let's leave, so we'll leave the spikes here somewhere. I think maybe right underneath there. Are we going to need anything else with a front loader? I don't think so. So actually we can just leave the whole front loader here. If it fits, it's not going <laughs> to it's not going to fit. Okay. Let's change our plan a little bit. And head around this way. We'll just leave them underneath right here. This is where we're going to want to this is where we're going to want them anyway. So Alright, let's just detach that first and so we can grab those by themselves. And then we'll get off here and we'll detach the front loader. Alright. Oops. If I can make it detach. It's caught on something. Oh boy. This is sometimes the problem with, oh, I don't know if this is a problem with the mod necessarily because I have had this problem before with real tractors. So do I want, do I want to put it up first or down? There we go, I think that should be good, right? Yeah, okay, so I just think I must have not had it right before. Okay, so let's go get our animals now. We've got sheep that we are wanting to buy. And I think just sheep, right? Yeah, we'll start with sheep. Uh, sitting here might want to buy something else to start and he is more than welcome to do that. How many sheep are we gonna want to buy? Well, the other question is since I think we'll drive down there for one load and I forget the transport fee, but I don't believe it is too high. So we'll probably drive to the shop, get the trailer, and deliver one load. It'll let us see more of the map, but it'll also save some time by only having to make one trip all the way down there. Of course, when we go to sell them, we will actually drive them, but I think as long as it forget the transport fee so we'll just go there we'll figure out the transport fee and we'll decide what to do from there all right so we will want to turn left here if there's no traffic and there is not wait which oh that's a sidewalk that's not a road i, I was like which road do i turn on <laughs> that was just a sidewalk all right and away we go I have no idea how fast I'm going. I decided to leave everything on Celsius and kilometers per hour. So that's, this will be interesting. I suppose we should pick up the front weight while we are here. And even though we don't need it for traveling with this trailer right now, might as well pick it up. Got a little bit more to do. A little bit closer, a little bit closer. Whoops. That's right, I didn't, okay. Well, <laughs> I, I didn't buy the option with the front attacher. Okay, so let's just grab the trailer right now. We can do that later, we can figure that out later. Okay, let's back in and get this attached and off we go. So we'll just, uh, we'll leave that and we'll get it later. Since there is nothing that we can do about the grass, we have a decision to make. Either I can grab a plow and start plowing up the grass, or I can start with planting equipment and plant. First of all, let me make sure I'm going the right path before I keep talking okay so at some point we're gonna have to turn left uh, I guess we'll try here so I think it's a left and then we'll make it oops 
well, we'll take the dirt track then. <laughs> okay. At some point, we're going to have to turn right again. I did, something I did was, there's a really cool mod called Loco Drive. It automatically drives the trains around the map. So I don't know if you've seen that. I don't think we've been close to the train tracks, but that's a, that's a nice little feature to also, you know, make the map feel a little bit more alive. So maybe we'll see that one of these times. I'm not sure where we are going, actually. Is this the home farm? Okay, this is actually the home farm. So this is where you start out. This is where we started before we teleported into the store. So, also the cows are here. So this is where we would do cows if we want to do cows. But for now, we will just give it a passing glance and head out to the road. Which we're going to want to take a left here and then another right. Yeah, so... I don't think there's one car there, and after this car, we're good to go. So I'm not sure how many animals should I buy. Sheep? I like to start with at least 100 sheep, otherwise it doesn't really feel worth it. But... Is that too many? I don't know, that's another thing. We'll just probably get there and we'll figure out the cost once we get there. I think we might have wanted to take a dirt path there. Yeah, I think we missed our turn. <laughs> well, uh, I suppose we can... Is there another path? Where's the entrance then? Probably should have checked to my left, but since that car turned, I just followed it. Um... Where's the path to the livestock place? Let's just keep the mini-map open, how about that? That's probably a smart thing to do. And it's coming up here to the left, actually. So maybe there wasn't a path and this was, this was the only path. I felt like there was a shortcut through the fields. Yeah, right there, actually. So I could have taken that path. We should probably take that one home. Nothing wrong with taking a dirt lane. Although typically those dirt lanes are technically part of the, well, I don't know about over here, but at least in the US, whenever you see a dirt lane like that in between two fields, it's typically actually part of a field. So you would have to own the field to have access to that. Or sometimes if you buy land that doesn't actually have road access, you have an easement onto a lane like that that's technically someone else's property. But unless you're one of those cases, typically you're not, I mean, it's technically trespassing to drive on that. But we'll claim ignorance and just take the shortcut. All right, so <laughs> it's kind of an awful backing up job, but we'll call it good enough. I think we're inside the trigger, maybe. Okay, yeah, so it recognizes the thing. So we will buy sheep. They're 4,500 each. Oh boy. So we can fit 14 in our trailer. That's 63,000. So we will get those. And I did something right with the modding. You saw as soon as the sheep were in there, the weight registered and you saw the suspension lower. I did give the sheep a comfy ride. So the suspension is nice and uh, I think that's the damper, the the kind of return that makes it a little bit more cushy. And we will pop a U-turn here, and then once I miss that barrier, we'll head on back to the trigger and check out the transport fee. Look at that. All lined up in a row, nice and pretty. All right. We'll go over here to the transport, and... Okay, sheep, the transport fee is 200 each. 200. Well, okay, so let's... So in the grand scheme of things, that's not... That's not bad. Right? 10,000 for transporting. Uh, we'll just say that's the cost of doing business. <laughs> okay. I guess, yeah. So I have 14, I think we like starting out with even numbers. 
a hundred, so you know what? I'm not gonna. Let's just buy a hundred. 500,000, 400, so 20,000 in transport. Oh, that. <laughs> All right, well, if I do that, we kind of. How much would that limit us? So, combine and header, say 200. So, another tractor by Joe. So, between another combine and another tractor, say 500,000. Uh, a few more fields if sitting here wants to buy a few more fields that's probably a million so that leaves a million dollars left for other equipment let's do it oh i winced when i hit the button because i don't know if that was a mistake but i did it i'm sorry to spend that much money but i did it <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure if this will be a good idea or a bad idea but you know, I had actually planned to hop in here and only buy, you know, just buy a tractor and some fields and then just kind of end the end and let, um, let sit in here take over. That, that was my original plan, but I kind of went a little crazy. <laughs> we have not much more money to spend. I, I definitely don't want to spend over half the money because that's a little, that'd be, that'd be a little unfair, you know. I want to I wanna let him have plenty of options to choose from, you know, between a tractor and field work and... Alright, let's hop on past the farm here. So I want to keep going north. So I, if I remember correctly, I take this out and then I take a lane to the... Yeah, I think I can keep on taking this lane. And then I'm gonna to wanna to take a left, and then straight, and then left. Let's see if I can do it without a map. Well, we'll keep the mini map up, otherwise I will get lost. That is, is that a cell point? I think that's a cell point, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Looks like there's a, we just had to scale. So I think that was a sell point of some type. All right, we have no traffic coming from the left and we'll go on out. So let's see if we can see that train running the laps or not. No train that way, no train that way. Okay, well, it's somewhere around the map. We'll find it one of these days. We can be a train spotter. So if you, if you see the train, be sure to let us know. It can be like a little game of tag or something I don't know just just ignore that uh, and ignore the drunken steering while I was trying to look at where we're going so if I remember correctly it is left up here and then it's going to be right on one of those dirt paths so we'll slow down give the animals a nice turn don't want to sway the suspension too much and tilt them on their side and if I remember correctly, so we don't have to take that route. That's a little bit longer. Oops, that's a little bit longer around. We can take, there's another one here, right there. Yep, okay, hey, look, you can still see our tracks. All right, so we're gonna dump the sheep in and then we're gonna have to get them some food. Oh, we need a water trailer too, so. There's another thing to buy. And then we're going to need to figure out where the water fill trigger is. So that's another thing to figure out. Oh boy. I was hoping with my half of the money I could at least buy a mower as well. But I don't know if that's going to happen. Alright, where is unload? Why can't I unload? Am I not in the box? I think... Maybe. Wouldn't it be unload? Do I have to get out to unload? Open animal. There we go. Oh, wait. I don't want to sell. Wait. You can buy him here. I didn't realize you could buy... Wait. What? That doesn't make sense. So... I could buy them here and... Whoa, whoops. Okay, let's close that gate. 
I am really confused. I could buy them here and take them right there? That seems like, why even have an animal trailer? That seems kind of cheap. That's like cheating. <laughs> I don't know about that. That seems really weird. All right, let's finish and open up those gates. Let's hop on in. And start hopefully making some wool. So I'm guessing that's what this one is then, right? If it gives me the unload. How do you unload animals? Is that where the wool is produced? I haven't done this in a little while. Maybe, okay, I think I know what I did wrong. Maybe this isn't sell, but this is to unload and it the text is just sell. Wait, I have to do it from inside the tractor. That's what I was missing. Open, why can't I break? Okay, open animal dialogue. Okay, unload, there we go. So I think I must have not just been in the trigger before. There we go, the animals are gone. The trigger's probably here, which makes sense. You have to back in. Okay, that makes sense. Now let's go shove this trailer somewhere. And where are we gonna put the trailer? It's kind of a long trailer to back into one of those. I guess I could try to put it half inside one of those storages. Those storages, you know, those short ones would work really good for maybe some baling equipment or grass work. So let's try putting it over here. I think this will be, this will be easy enough. Nope. Started to turn a little bit too early. All right, so we'll try to straighten it out just a smidgen. And that should be after I cut it in time. There we go. Okay, now cut it the other way. And that should be good enough. Let's just go all the way. Could actually put a couple things in here if I would have centered it. Well, if I would have not centered it and I would have put it either to the left or the right, but We'll call that good enough for now. Actually, I mean, that's still enough room for maybe a baler there. Let's just fix that. We'll just, we'll just do that to make us more, some more storage room. We'll kind of try to put it along the wall there a little bit more. So, I want to hit the wall. And don't want to do that, certainly. All right, that should be, if I go straight back from there, there we go. Now we got some more room to store a little bit more equipment right there. So that'll be good. All right, I like it. And we're gonna need a power washer real quick over here. Is there any flat spot? I'd, I'd like to be able to put a, you know, one of those repair shops over here. Especially if this is kind of going to be our home base for a little while. Actually, you know, I probably shouldn't have bought the fields over here. I don't know what I was thinking because... Well, you know, if we really branch out into sheep farming, I can just plant grass on those fields. I think that's actually... Let's do that. We'll plant grass on all the fields over here, and these will all be grass for sheep. And then eventually, if we get dairy, we can just, we can mow the grass up here and bring it over to the dairy farm. I think that's a, that's a pretty good play. That's a pretty good thing. All right, so you got the flashers on. I think that's actually a, oh no, we got a, I was about to say that that's a good episode, but we got to do a U-turn here. And we're going to feed the sheep so they don't starve. And then we're going to have to get them water as soon as possible. So we do have a couple things left. 
We should probably get them... Let's see, where did I leave? Uh, over here. We should probably get them water, actually, before the end of this episode, so that way... Um, sitting here does not have to do that, and he can do his own thing to start off. Oh. Uh, there we go. I think... Is that good? That's... <laughs> we'll call that good. Alright, and then we'll lower it a little bit. We want to go forward. And we want some bales. Alright. Uh, this is going to be tricky, but I don't want to have to try to move the trailer. I think we can get him. Do you think so? <laughs> well, we're going to try. We're going to... We, oh, I stabbed myself. I think we can do it. If I go in... Whoops. I don't want to spike the wheels. I go in and turn. Uh, it's a fine line between spiking the wheels and hitting the ceiling. Alright. So I think if I turn and lower and tilt and then lower as I back out, I think we got it. Look at that. We got it. Alright, so now... <laughs> it's got to feed them before we dump them. And, uh, you know, something I didn't check is I do know some map makers don't like to have bale triggers at the feeding troughs. Hopefully there's a bale trigger at the feeding troughs. Otherwise, we'll have to get a mixer up here, a blower, something like that. There we go. There is a bale trigger. <laughs> if I can get it in the bale trigger. Is that enough? Wait, is that enough for a couple days? Really? I thought they would take more than that. All right, that's actually enough for a couple days. So let's return these bales then. Um, where are we gonna put them? Let's just throw them right here, maybe. No. Okay. It might be the long way, but we're going to take him back to over where the bale trailer's at. Just to kind of start unstacking them. We can really only stack them about four high here. Can't stack them very much. So let's get over there. There we go. I think one thing I do want to add is on most maps, I normally play with the... What is it? The... The thing that makes it so that the camera doesn't move all over the place when you go through a collision, because that's kind of really annoying. We'll see what sitting here likes to play with. Okay, so we'll get the other bale, and then we will get them water and be done with it. And then, of course, we're going to have to figure out where to get the water from, so that's another ordeal. I don't remember seeing a hydrant, but... We'll just do a quick lap around the farm here before we head on over. Actually, let's fix it here so I don't have to worry about fixing it over there. Okay. Get the bale horizontal. And almost horizontal. That should be good enough for stacking purposes. Alright, so let's see if we can... I don't see a water trigger yet. Is there one over here? I don't see water over here either. Where's water? Oh, wow, I thought I cleared that. You guys didn't see me hitting that, so that didn't happen. Um, <laughs> I, I thought that... Okay, so that's kind of ugly. We'll just tidy that up real quick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Let's unhook. Give us some clearance. Yeah, you know, I should really not leave four bales like that. That's just bad. Okay, let's try to fix it. 
Oh goodness. <laughs> we had a little accident. <laughs> That's okay. Well, you know what? It happens. We're gonna go get some water and we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. So let's take this off then. I don't think we're gonna need this for water. And off we go, okay. So, the water is, we said we we're gonna take a lap for water. I don't see it over there, I don't see one there. I don't see water there. And I don't, there could be a spot for water over here. I doubt they would make the water right there. That's uh, someone's backyard. Okay, well. There's no water trigger at the sheep. So, where do we get water? Maybe while we figure it out later, there is... Oh, is it inside somewhere? No, I don't see it inside anywhere. I was going to say, maybe while we figure it out, we can... Hopefully there's a trigger at the store. Whoa. That's why you drive from inside the cab. <laughs> that doesn't happen as much. Okay, so let's head over to the store. Put our hazards back on. Maybe there's water at the gas station. No, don't see... Don't see water there. Alright, well, don't see water here. That looks like fuel, probably. I'm guessing that's fuel. It'd be awesome if it was water. Maybe that's fuel, or maybe that's water. Maybe. Let's buy a animal water trailer. We don't need that big of a water trailer. Although, we might want a trailer that big if the water is that far away from our farm. Oh, this will be interesting to see where the water's at. Okay, back up here. And... There we go. So, now... Should we try to see if that's water? There could be water around the back. There's certainly enough room. Let's just try real quick. Can't hurt. See if this is water. It is not water. Let's just do a lap real quick to make sure that there's no water around back. Nope, no water around back. Okay. Well, where would the water be? If it's all the way down by the cows, I certainly picked the wrong farm. If the, let's see, where, are there, are there creeks around? I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm not sure I'd want to give them water from the ditch there. That's kind of unsanitary. Where's the water gonna be? We could try going to the pig farm and see if there's water there. Let's try that. We haven't been to the pig farm yet, so that'll be a good that'll be a good thing to do. I think we're gonna want to turn a right here. And then look to turn. Can we go left there? No. Nope. Maybe the next one. Or do we yeah, that looks like a hedgerow or a bridge or something. I don't think we want to go that way. So, I think then maybe there's a right up here we can take. Yeah, it looks like right in here. Okay. So hopefully there's water over here. Another place to store grain, that's great. A few small fields. And is there a water trigger? Let's hope so. Oh, I think I see a little... 
Wait, is that a bike or is that a garden hose? Maybe it's a garden hose and that's where we fill up the water. Let's get our F1 menu there so we can see. Nope, that's a bike. <laughs> Darn it. Okay, well. Wait. I thought I saw something change there when I was driving past. No, I guess it must have just been my head. Okay, where's water gonna be? I guess it could be inside those buildings. Hey, there's a lake. Okay, we'll give them water from that. I can, I can live with that. I, I didn't want to give them water from that ditch. That was a little bit, you know, with runoff from the road, they'd probably give them oil and, you know, all the oil from cars that drip on the road and stuff like that. Whoops. I meant to back in a little bit better there, but... We'll back in before we get full, because I don't want to have to try to... do that when this tanker is full, even though it is a small tanker. Okay. We'll fill this up, and then we'll deliver the pig... No. Not to the pigs. We'll deliver this to the sheep, and we'll probably call that an episode because the sheep will be satisfied, and I'm already at my limit. Maybe I'll buy a baler and some grass equipment just so he knows to leave some money for that. I don't know. All right. We make that turn. Yes, we can. Got a nice little garden there with some tomatoes. My mom has tomatoes in her garden. I actually hate tomatoes. She made me try one every year, and I threw it up every year. It's just, it's not the flavor, it's the texture. I don't, I just don't like it. Anyway, enough about ugly tomatoes. We are, I think we remember the path. Let's try this without the map because I think I'm getting used to this map enough where I have to drive on the side of the road. I think I remember the map enough where I don't need to always use the mini map, which is nice to give you guys a little bit better of a view. So we'll zoom out also and give you a better view. Those are some small fields over there. Alright, then I should want to take a left up here. What is that? That's an ATM. That's not anything. Okay, so that way is clear, and that way is clear. Not very much traffic on the road. This is just one stretch of road, though. Seems to be a lot more traffic around the outside of the map. Alright, and here we go going on in if we have time I would like to plow up these fields so that I could fertilize them but that just depends on what is going on with whatever sitting here decides to do for the map kind of got to work together I can't just you know that's something we're gonna have to watch like if I'm busy taking care of sheep and the crops weather because I wasn't paying attention to what he was doing and I let too much time elapse taking care of the sheep you know stuff like that we'll just have to watch but I don't think it'll be too big of an issue okay there we go we will unload unload and watch water fill up so let's see how much they take it's awful slow filling but that's okay our productivity should go up a little bit after that. I think we'll need a bucket. Wait, do they have cleanliness or not? Is that only the other? Yeah, right there in front of me. So we'll have to get a bucket for the cleanliness. But other than that, sheep are pretty low maintenance. And they can be some decent cash on the side. So that, that'll be nice. Um, very easy to start off with. You know, it's when you don't have any grain in storage, pigs are impossible to start off with. And then cows... You know, getting the silage going takes so much. So I think we'll probably try to plant 
you know, I, I do like taking care of livestock, so we'll probably try to plant as much of these fields of grass as possible, and then we can fertilize it and start making silage and hay and have a good supply for cows, so that way we can boost their productivity right to 100% as soon as we get them. I think that's, that's a good plan for the cows. Man, these sheep just keep on doing water. Crunchy crunch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. All right, so where are we gonna put this water trailer? For now, how about we just put it right there? Maybe? Let's put it somewhere easy. I don't think we can go under, yeah, that's too much. So we'll just back up here. I think I'll just leave the water trailer out and open so he can see it easily in case he ever needs to fill up the water trough for the sheep. So we'll just back it in right there. So still protected from the rain for the most part, but it's out in the open enough to see it. It's like my mess of a bale trailer. That'll, that'll be, uh, that's a little whoopsie. All right, and then we will park the tractor over here and maybe I'll buy one more thing let's buy a pressure washer and put it right there on the edge I think that's a good place for a pressure washer we want to be able to keep our equipment clean what am I looking for placeables you know I always talk as soon as I go into that menu and then I always okay so how about right there as close to the edge as possible and uh, right there. Oops, I thought I had it. There we go. That's an excellent place for a washer. Let's turn off our flashers and the tractor. And we'll still have to decide on a name for this tractor, so be sure to message in and comment if you want it named something. Otherwise, I will pick a name myself. Not that I'm going to pick your name. If, if I don't like your name, I'm not going to pick it. I don't know. I think this this looks like a male. This this does not look like a female. So male names, something like Jim. Maybe Jim. Jim looks pretty good. No, maybe. I don't know. It could be a Jim. We'll have to feel that out as we play. Until then, I think that is a good first episode after we close the gate so the sheep don't escape. I think that's a pretty good first episode. And thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. And give us a thumb, that kind of thing. And, yep, stay tuned for more. Thanks, guys. Bye.